Oh, this apartment complex is something else. Hello everybody, it's 6.08 a.m. and we're on our way to Starbucks for two miles. Let's head on over there and get some Starbucks. Never guess what I was doing this morning at about 3.30 in the morning. I was filling up sandbags to put on my balcony door so that way when it rains water doesn't get into the uh, sliding glass door and you know damage anything so <laughs> there i was at 3 30 in the morning just it was on my mind i'm like oh shoot i bought these sandbags and i need to fill them up so there i was just scooping sand and i think i scooped about oh probably about 30 pounds of sand maybe 40. I don't know, probably about 30. It wasn't a lot of sand, but you know, I had to get it done because whenever I start doing door dashing and all the other stuff, then it just takes up all of my day. And then before I know it, the day's over. So the first thing I do in the morning is try to do any kind of extras that I need to take care of. So they're just out of the way. So, <laughs> so yeah. So if you don't need to know anything about making sandbags, let me know. <laughs> I got the stuff from Starbucks. It took a while to get it, but we got it. And then I went, while I was in there waiting, I was posting to social media, to the TikTok and the Instagram and threads. So that was kind of fun. It helped to pass the time. So now we're on our way to a house that's only uh, 0.7 miles from here. And it will be there in two minutes. And let's see, and we have a gate code and it's a leave at the door. All right, here we come. Gee, if you watch my videos, you must be familiar with where I'm going. I think we go to the same places every morning. I wonder why that is. There must just be just a small number of people that use the app in the mornings with the concentration of people that live in this neighborhood you think i'd always just go to a, a wide variety of places but i always seem to go to the same places every day but what's nice is about going to all these different places at least you can see you know you can see different um uh, different types of weather and and uh, you know because things look different when you're out on different days because you know the seasons change the lights are different and you know and people change sometimes the decorations of their houses so that can make it kind of fun well at any rate here we go one of the perks about living here is just to enjoy looking at the houses so I'm turning the camera towards the houses especially this neighborhood they're so unique I don't know if I've ever seen houses that look quite like these houses do and these houses are expensive they're like I don't think there's a single one less than a million dollars but they are so unusual looking the, the way the, three dollars and nine cents 5.6 miles no they're so unusual looking. They look like um, just blocks. Maybe that's the that must be like the trend. Maybe it has something to do with like Minecraft or something. You know, everything's blocky. But they, when I first saw them build these, I thought they were going to be real cheap because they looked to me like shipping containers. They didn't look stylish at all. But I guess it's just the trend. I guess it's, now this is the the thing that younger folk find to be attractive. So more power to them if they enjoy that. And I'm sure there's a lot of square footage in them because they're, you know, they're block shaped. So that would maximize the footage. 
but um, yeah, I don't know. It's not my it's not my taste. I like the ones we see like at at um, McDonald Ranch or Roma Hills, kind of like Tuscan style. Those are the kinds that I like. That's just that's just for me. So I have a lot of different things I have to do today. I have to get my crown fixed because my crown fell out and then I just washed it and popped it back in and now it's sitting in just fine but on the internet it says I have to go in because I guess it's not sanitary I guess like they have to do stuff to make sure it's sanitary and it's sealed airtight so bacteria can't get in there so that happened on Sunday and today's Tuesday so I think it's been two days now yeah two days since it's happened so I'll go get that taken care of. I'll call them up when they open today and get that done. And then the second thing that I have to get done today is I have to get the car smogged. So that I'll probably do later in the afternoon if possible. But that can be postponed for another day because I still got time. $12.15 for 12.2 miles. No. Yeah. So that can be postponed. If you know if things get are really busy, um, doing uh doing delivery then i can postpone that one but i don't know it's always hard to know what's going to happen every day right now it feels slow <laughs> but it's early it's only 6 25 a.m oh yeah i forgot to mention that i adjusted the graphics below so now you guys can more clearly see when i'm on a uh, a delivery for um you know like uber eats or for doordash you probably saw that in the previous clip because that's when I was active. So when I'm active, you can see if I'm on Uber Eats and, and or DoorDash below more clearly. And you could also see the uh, the stats from yesterday as far as um, acceptance rate, cancellation rate, my ratings, on timeliness, all that stuff that pops up that's related to each app that people care about. So enjoy okay we're off to delivery number two and guess where it is it is starbucks five dollars for 2.4 miles let's go back to starbucks well, there's hardly anybody inside the starbucks so there wasn't anything going on in there but as soon as you come out of the starbucks you've got people driving like Looney Tunes out here. Everybody's in a hurry and they gun their car as fast as they can. Even if there's a blind spot, they don't care. They're like, I don't care about blind spots. I need, I'm late. I need to get somewhere real fast. And then they get on my dang nerves. I'm like, get out of my way. All right, so we're going to an apartment. It is only 1.2 miles from here. And we'll be there in no time, three minutes. Let's see if they gave us a gate code. Yeah, they gave us a gate code and their apartment number, but no building number. So good luck. Here we go. Since the, the darn numbers don't line up to the building numbers so apartment numbers are, do not correspond to the apartment numbers the apartment numbers don't correspond to the building numbers the building numbers don't correspond to the apartment numbers and the apartment numbers don't are the building numbers <laughs> and so on and so forth they don't go together but let's see if we can find it let's see if we can find it and i try to take a picture of the of the um map and that wasn't successful oh it's right here oh good their pin at least was right everything is fine everyone Okay, that worked out fine. 
And they did provide the building number. I don't know why I didn't see it. Maybe I was just thinking to myself, they never give the building numbers. I really wasn't looking. It was on a separate line from the instructions. And normally they put it with all the other stuff. So that's why I didn't see it. So I apologize to this customer. I'm so sorry. I did not see your building number. And I got a little bit upset. <laughs> I got a little bit upset at 6.47 a.m. And I really shouldn't. Because you know what? This job is just a silly job. And there's no reason to get upset about it. No, sir. You should be more upset that your crown fell off and you got to get a smug and you're up at 3.30 in the morning filling up sandbags. That you should be upset about. All right, everyone. Guess where we're going to. Guess where we're going to. We're going to Starbucks. That's right. They're going to give us five dollars for 2.7 miles i am so excited it is a starbucks marathon day we almost got an offer to go to um smart and final and do some shopping and then it was uh, i had to go to lowe's and pick something up was the other part of the deal and it was good money it was like 23 dollars for 12 miles but i saw it was going to take me to that awful apartment complex you know the one that it has no parking to park and you have to walk uh, to a security gate and the customers never answer the security gates. So you got to wait for a maintenance person to let you in. Then you got to go up an elevator and you got to hope that they're nearby the elevator because the complex is so huge. So as soon as I saw where the drop off was and that was just one of the drop offs. As soon as I saw that, I said, oh, never mind. And then this popped in. So I said, that's fine. I said, I'll do the Starbucks one. I want an easy day. <laughs> I don't want a hard day. Here we are, Starbucks. Got the Starbucks. I feel like it's Groundhog Day today. We're going to be going to a house and it's a leave at the door and it is three minutes away, 1.3 miles. Let's roll this car on over and drop it off. All the commuters are out in full force. Ooh, and people are not paying attention at all. Man, Turn right never on fails. Then drop off on the right. Oh, we're coming up on the house. Man, the people are too much. I just gotta watch out. I don't wanna get no accident, people. All right, it's coming up. The house is coming. What if it's one with the open garage? It's usually the house with the open garage. But let's see. No, it's not. It's the next one. It's the one right here. All right. The angle is better. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, good. I can move forward. Oh, goody. I can move forward. That'll be easier for me. Opposites. I would have taken that smart and final offer and the lows combined if I hadn't been bagging sand in the morning I think I, I feel like I've done too much this morning so I want to just take it easy did I turn here I think I did yeah I just want to take it easy I'm like don't do too much don't overwhelm yourself especially if you feel overwhelmed per today in particular I feel like there's just too much <laughs> there's too much of everything so whenever I feel like there's too much happening I just slow down and I do everything real basic real simple just try to keep it simple and slow until I feel ready to speed up again 
that's just my way of doing things. Because I think if I don't do that, then something could go awry. <laughs> and we don't like it when things go awry. Mm-hmm. I don't think the smog place is open until 8 a.m. And it's 7.38 a.m. right now. So I can't do a smog yet. And then the dentist, I don't think they're available until 9. So I still can't get anything done yet. So even though it's slow right now and I can't, I can't really think of anything else urgent that I need to do that I can actually take care of right now. So yeah. Just hanging out now. Just I'm in just the I'm in slow mo. I'm just in super slow mo and just taking it easy. Not really trying to fret about much of anything in particular. It's 70 degrees. I've driven 10.4 miles. I'm getting 58.7 miles to the gallon. I'm thinking about what kind of what kind of um, strategy session I'm gonna have today because it's gonna be so slow. I thought today I would talk about tracking mileage and how to use, you know, free online tools to track mileage instead of, you know, downloading these crazy apps that people try to get you to download and then they end up trying to charge you money. I'll tell people about free things that I use to track my miles. That'll be kind of fun. That'll be the one maybe I'll do today if it's if it's slow. If not, I'll save that for another day. But it seems like it's going to be slow today. Because if... Because it's... I mean, I've gotten... I've gotten... What is this? I think this is the third delivery I've done. And it's only seven thirty nine. But, you know, it is... There only been like $5 ones. Here comes one. $3.91 for 3.8 miles. Goodbye. Yeah. It's just been kind of just... Lousy offers. Nothing great at all. I think the first one was good. It was like $7 and something. But all the other ones are just five dollars so i'm just like i'm just doing them because they're close by you know you just pick it up you drop it off go back home rinse and repeat and then i'm trying to post stuff six dollars and nine cents for 4.8 miles no no thank you go away i'm done with you goodbye yeah, and I'm just trying to do the social media posting, and I don't know what to post. I'm just taking selfies of myself and whatever happens to be around me. But there's not much going on. There's not much to really post. But maybe after a while, people will just like to see pictures of me and where I'm at, I guess. I mean, I'm not... I, I thought, well, nobody wants to see... Oh, here's something. Scrambled. $7 for 5.8 miles. No. Yeah, a lot of... um. People, you know, they don't want to see what the Starbucks looks like. They, they can see a picture of Starbucks anywhere online. So why would I take a picture of the Starbucks? So I said, oh, I'll just take pictures of myself. And then I'm I'm looking at the pictures. And I'm like, oh, my God, look how old I look in this picture. <laughs> I'm like, my God, I look like I'm ancient. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, who cares? Just post the picture. I'm like, sometimes I think about when I see a picture, it catches me off guard because, you know, I'm getting older, but I'm not a vain person. So I don't have, I don't feel like, you know, I need to do something about getting older. It's just always, it's always amazing to me as you age, how you start to just see things in your face as you age that you didn't see before. And it happens suddenly. It happens so quick. It doesn't have, it almost seems like it happens overnight. You look and you're like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> when did I suddenly start to look old? <laughs> Guess where we're going next? No, we're not going to Starbucks. <laughs> we're going to Dunkin'. That's right. I fooled you. You thought we we're going to go to Starbucks again. $8.50 for 4.3 miles. We almost went to to Starbucks again. It was another five dollar offer for like two some two point something miles, and I was just dreading it. I thought, oh no, and I accepted it and everything. And I was walking out the door, and then this Dunkin' order came in, and I said, I'm canceling the Starbucks one because I'm sick of going to Starbucks, and I don't care if it gives me a a, a ding on my cancellation rate. I could care less. So I canceled it, and now we're on our way to Dunkin'. So let's go.
got the food for the customer. We're going to be going seven minutes away, 2.4 miles. Leave at my door. Please do not ring the doorbell and thank you. Let's go, everybody. Let's drop it off. Maybe after this drop off, I'll, I can go get my car smog. But you watch. It's just typical. Now it's going to be super busy. As soon as I drop this off, it'll be wham, another good one, another good one. Which is fine, I guess. Whatever happens, we'll adapt. We're like the Borg. We adapt. <laughs> Still don't understand why they make hybrid cars have to get a smog. I mean, if, the, if this car uses a gas engine only 50% of the time, the emissions itself is like 50% less than any other type of vehicle. So why would it have to be smog? It is one of those bureaucracy things 100% because it just it's a total waste of money but you just got to do it you have no choice I guess if I and if I was all electric I wouldn't have to do it but I don't trust all electric cars I am not going to rely on the cost of electricity always being stable I at least know for sure what I'm dealing with when it comes to a hybrid vehicle and I just put gas in it and yeah gas prices go up and down but I know that no matter what I'm gonna get uh, a, about approximately like a 50% savings on my miles per gallon compared to a regular car so that alone like even if prices fluctuate I know I'm still getting a great deal at, at about 50% off anybody else getting gas the thing about electric is that you'll get you'll get great um what is it like great output or great not mileage or whatever you know what i mean you your car, the battery will last a long time when the when the temperature and weather conditions are perfect but if it's too cold or it's too hot guess what the battery is not going to be as efficient and you're not going to get your your optimum bang for your buck because you know batteries are are weather dependent so any kind of extreme climate situation and you're not going to get the same uh you're not going to get the same bang for your buck as uh when it's like 70 something degrees and you know and there's no wind so no no electric for me hybrid is the way to go for me all right we're well, here in this non-gated community neighborhood and it's close to a lot of stores this particular area you got all kinds of shopping near here just older but it's not so old where the air conditioners are on the roof there's that I don't know who thought that was a great idea who in the heck would want their air conditioner sitting on top of the roof where everybody can see it and pigeons can land on it and it can break and then you got to pay a fortune to have somebody climb up on the roof to fix the air conditioner it's not like somebody could take an elevator up to the to, up to the rooftop you know to fix the the air conditioner that's suddenly broken on top of the roof on the two-story house that was dumb but you know people do crazy things all right well let's see i think we're almost here i think it's this next one coming up yeah it's this one right here all right let's turn it around ugh turn 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 let's drop off this duncan Right, we got our next one see what I mean now it's getting busy now it's getting busy we got to go to Vons eight dollars and fifty cents 2.3 miles we're shopping for ten items let's go to Vons and do a little shopping let's go oh the traffic's real bad on the other side it's all backed up yeah. 
look at all the cars. I don't want to go that way. Holy smokes. It's all backed up. Time to see what we're shopping for. Marie Calendar, Salisbury Steak, Frozen Dinner, Ballpark Hot Dog Buns, Hormel Chili with Beans, Arm & Hammer, Laundry Detergent, per something, Gum Professional Clean Fresh Mint Flossers. Cottonelle Ultra Comfort 2 Ply Mega Toilet Paper Rolls, Bopog Beef Size Franks, and Entenmann's Little Bites Blueberry Muffins. Now we're getting ballpark franks bun size. Let's press the button. Look, here they are. Here comes the scanning. Boom. It tells me these are the wrong ones. Scan again. They want 15 ounce. Oh boy. Let's see if there's a bigger one. Let's see. How about well that's 30 ounce. Made a mistake. They want the ones with beef. These are the ones with beef. Now it should go. There it goes. We got it. Let's go to the next one. All right, here's the next one. It's this big giant batch of toilet paper. You see it? See how giant it is? I'm going to go down to the barcode. Bam. It's telling me it's the wrong one. Whoops. Actually the right one. So we're going to force it. So you say, I have the correct item. And then it says, take a picture of it. So we take a picture of it. And that's to take a long time I don't know why I'm not exactly sure maybe because I was doing more filming in there but it seemed to take a long time especially because I'm only getting about eight dollars and fifty cents for this delivery and I'm not exactly sure maybe because all the items were all spread out and there were multiple times where the item it kept saying was not the correct item so that kind of slowed me down a little bit um uh -huh. slowed me down four minutes 1.4 miles handed to me ah, it's a house well at least it's a house all right let's go and hand it hand it off to the customer some good comments come in somebody was really mad about it being slow yesterday ah uh, they said it's been slow as hell and the heat don't make me want to wait not one hour for an order taking my ass back home <laughs> i'm like damn straight go back home it ain't worth it if it's slow go home i go home even if it's not slow this other person said slow here too in arizona it must have been slow everywhere yesterday maybe they're having problems with their with the app or something because it's very strange for it to be slow everywhere we're almost there everybody we're almost there making a right turn here on this little here road it's gonna be on the left hand side i don't want to run over any birdies so i had to kind of swerve a little bit to the right i here on the left we're gonna be looking for an address any second now let's look over here to the left and see if we can find it over here on the left there it is everyone i see it I see the address. I'm turning the car. I'm turning the car. Here we go. Yes. And we have arrived. Let us go drop off this grocery.
doing good. How you doing? Yeah, no problem. All right, you're all set. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Well, that was pretty easy. Now we got to keep our eyes peeled for a smog place to get the car smog as we get closer to the time to call the dentist to have the crown fixed that fell out over the weekend. So we're, we're triple tasking. We're potentially waiting for an offer to come in. Well, at the same time, we are looking to see if there are any smog facilities to get a smog for the car. And at the same time, we're watching the clock to see if it's time yet to call the dentist. We are triple tasking. And it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. Mm. I know time to, to go call the dentist or to go to the smog. We've got to go to McDonald's. And I just missed my turn. I missed my turn. I missed my turn. <laughs> I was trying to record a video and I missed my turn. Let's make a U-turn. Let's make a U-turn. Let me tell you. Let me tell you all about the fantastic McDonald's offer that we just got. Six dollars for 2.6 miles. Let's just get it and pick it up and let's try to stay in one piece. All right, everybody. Well, I went into McDonald's and I got the order. We're going to be going four minutes away, 1.2 miles. We're going to an apartment. And we're going to leave it at the door. Okay. The car is in motion. We are on our way. We are not going to crash. No crash. No crash car. You drive safe. I drive safe. So far, things are now picking up again. So I guess that's good. I mean, nothing's been difficult. Everything's been flowing. And the... Like at McDonald's, there was no really nobody in there but a couple of people. And mine was the only order they were preparing that was a mo mobile order. So yeah, everything's going good. It's going good, but I'll feel better when I take care of all my other stuff. Because I think when I have too many things to do, it's when I get, I get kind of like, I don't know. not I don't really feel stress per se. I don't really feel stress. I just feel like it's just too much. You got too many things to do. You feel like... You know how, like, when you watch at the airport and all the planes are stacking up? It's like that. It feels like airplanes are stacking up and, and they cannot land. Like, the planes can't take off and the other planes can't land. And that's what it feels like. Like, you can't, you can't get it all done. So you get, you get irritated. I'm not stressed. I'm irritated. I'm irritated that there's so many things to do and they're stacking up. And, I, and my mind keeps expecting just another thing to drop that I have to deal with. But I guess everybody deals with that. We're all in the same boat. We all got stuff we have to do, and we ain't got no time to do it. The building. All right, I see the apartment building. I wonder which customer ordered this food. I hope it's somebody friendly and not strange. We don't like delivering to strange people. Here we are. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Oh, this apartment complex is something else. While I was delivering, a police officer parked or stopped behind me where you're not supposed to stop or park because it's difficult for 
me in particular to back up and also for people on the thoroughfare to, to go by so he caused the traffic jam by himself parking there so it took me a while to back out and he refused to move of course because he's law enforcement so he ain't going nowhere so we're stuck we were stuck and the guys that you know drive those little maintenance carts they were upset too they're like why does this guy park here <laughs> everybody was mad that the law enforcement guy parked there and uh, i guess he was serving an eviction notice to somebody and he had his eviction personality on so he was really gruff he had the attitude on on fleek <laughs> he was ready to let people have it so um, he wasn't gonna budge and he was throwing attitude and the maintenance guys were grumbling and everybody was in a bad mood. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure the person who, who's living in that apartment is just is probably hiding under the bed praying they don't kick him out. <laughs> They're probably at least at least three months behind on the rent. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So the delivery went fine though, but there was a, just a little bit of drama with an eviction going on, on on the same building that I was trying to deliver McDonald's. But that is that, and now we're on our way to get a smog. I'm gonna turn the app off because I wanna get my smog and I wanna talk to the dentist and set up an appointment. So I'll be right back. All right, I talked to the dentist and they said, call back at 11. They're not open till 11 today. <laughs> but they said I definitely have to have my crown re-cemented onto my tooth so i'll call them back at 11 and take care of that and now i was on my way to have my smog done but they were doing construction on the road that i was on that led to the smog place so i had to take another road to bypass the construction so that's where i'm going to now and then i'm going to get this car smog and then That'll be done, and then after my shift is over today at 11.30, I will call back the dentist and set up the appointment to get this crown taken care of. So I am, I have made, I think I've made about 10% uh, advancement in my situation because I still, <coughs> I still don't have an appointment for the, the crown and of course I still am not at the smog and I don't even know how long the line's gonna be once I get to the place where I get the smog. All right, I'll keep you posted. I know you guys like to know all sorts of things other than just uh, the door dashing. And I have 20 minutes, I'm at 28 minutes and 10 seconds on my pause dash, but I'll just reset it. Well, so far I drove by the smog place. I didn't see anybody in line. This particular one, nobody goes to. Don't ever go to that one on um, Eastern and Horizon Ridge. Everybody goes to that one and the line is so long. So I recently, I think it was a couple of years ago, I discovered this one. I don't even want to tell you where it's at because then you'll, you guys will all go to the same smog place and then when I go, it'll be packed. <laughs> but let's just say it's a good one where nobody knows about it except me. <laughs> all right, I got my smog done. I'm very happy about that and the gentleman was very friendly and very easy to deal with so I was very happy about that as well and now of course I'm a little bit poorer <laughs> but you know what it has to get done you got to do it you got to do your smog you got to pay your registration everybody don't don't mess around you don't want to get yourself into deeper trouble by by uh, trying to be sneaky try to be on the up and up all right, well, we're just waiting for the next uh, offers to come in. It's 9.21 a.m. And uh, it was busy earlier, so maybe it'll keep on being busy. We'll see. All right, well, I'm back here at home. <laughs> I don't have my mic with me, so I'm going to try to do this <laughs> right here in my uh, family room without my microphone. And I just wanted to say, if, you, if you're doing this job regularly and you want the, the mileage tax deductions, be sure to track your miles. Every day, uh, enter in your, the, the starting mileage on your car and the ending mileage. And then uh, also make sure you, it, you put the date 
and that's about it and then every make sure you do it every day so that way when it's time for to do taxes you can easily figure out how much how many miles you did for the year and I use a uh, Google Sheets to do it and it's free it doesn't cost anything and you just go ahead and you enter it in and it, if it's a basic formula to do it and you can learn how to do basic stuff for Excel on YouTube and that way you can um, easily track your your miles and you can have access to to it both on your mobile device and also on your desktop computer or laptop so that's what I do to track my miles and it works really good so if you want those those tax deductions because they're good tax deductions you get like I think 67 cents for every mile you get a deduction so it's totally worth doing and a lot of people when they first start this job they don't do it and they miss they miss out on that great uh, deduction so don't forget track your miles and use Google Sheets because it's free you don't have to have one of those fancy apps you just have to remember to do it like when you start the day make sure you put in the starting and when the day's over you enter your the ending miles and then it'll automatically on the third column once you set up the formula it'll it'll show in the next column how many miles you did for that day so go ahead and do it and that's my tip for for today because it's so slow today we got nothing going on all right that's it all right well the temperature really jumped up high it's 90 two degrees according to my thermostat although that could be just because I, the car was sitting in front of the house for so long and the sun was beating down on it that it just made the car super hot so let me tell you where we're going right now we're gonna go to press for juice but let me tell you how much we're getting let me attach my microphone and I'll tell you <laughs> we're gonna be getting oh uh, six dollars and three cents for 2.5 miles let's on, head on over to pest for juice and get it Hello. picking up her clue great thank you too all right I got the uh, stuff from press for juice we're gonna be going four minutes away 1.3 miles and it's a house and we have a gate code and we're on our way and I tried to get a, a video of the front of the building but I wasn't really able to there was this person that tried to park pull in next to me as I was opening my door and it totally threw me off <laughs> I was like who's at fault here I couldn't see the person obviously pulling in because I was just opening the door. But they stopped because obviously they saw me because they were facing forward. So I don't know. No, nothing bad happened. But my mind was like, should I have like, I couldn't look through my rear view mirror because as the door is opening, it's, the mirror is tilting away from me. But maybe I'm supposed to visually look to my left before opening my door. I guess that would be considered you would be equally at fault because they could clearly see and I'm supposed to make the effort to look out the window to see. Although who does? Who really looks out their window before they open their door? I mean, unless you're on a busy street, but if you're just regularly parking in a, in a strip mall parking lot, I don't know anybody that actually looks out their window first behind them before they open their door. But that's just me. All right, we're on our way. All right, we're coming into the community here. It's got to enter the code. Oh, the gate's open. Oh, can we catch it? Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, are we going to catch it? Are we going to catch it? Oh, I think we caught it. Yeah, we caught it. We didn't have to enter the code. I love it when that happens. All right, let's see here. We're back in the beautiful single-story neighborhood. They don't have a single two-story here. It's very nice. And we're going to go to the same place we always go to in this neighborhood. It's the only house. As soon as I saw the street, I'm like, I know exactly what house it is. Because they're the only ones that ever order in this community. Oh, look. And then they have some people over here. Something's going on. Oh, boy. So that means I better park right here. 
I bet a Parker here. They are just spendaholics. They always got something going on. All right, I'm heading over there. Well, a great offer came in and because there was no cell phone service in this community, we lost it. <laughs> we lost it and it's so slow today and we lost a good one. I hate when that happens. There's just nothing we can do about it though. It's just, just the luck of the draw. I can tell you what it was. So we can just cry about it together. $17.05 for 6.1 miles. And we got, we didn't get it. Boo. <laughs> it's so slow. It's so slow. And they screwed us. They dangled that carrot in front of us and they pulled it away. Oop, did I just delete the wrong one? Gosh darn it. Oh, I just deleted the wrong one. Now we don't have a graphic for, we don't have a graphic for the one I just did for Press for Juice. I accidentally deleted it. But you guys know what it was. I told you about it, and that's all that matters. Oh, what a disaster today is. I'm wrapping up this day, so take a look at the hours. Take a look at the money. We drove, let's see how many miles. We drove 29 miles. We got 59 miles to the gallon. I'm going to go get my tooth worked on so that I don't have to worry about getting some kind of infection with my crown. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.